Good evening. Um, they were is day 49 of um, the 365, read, read the Bible in 365 days. Uh, today we're reading Leviticus chapter 23 and 24, Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 22. Leviticus chapter 23. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy congregation, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy congregation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy congregations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover, and on the fifteenth day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. In the first day ye shall have an holy congregation, ye should do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer an offering made by the fire unto the Lord seven days. In the seventh day is an holy congregation, ye should do no servile work therein. And the work shall the work and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. And he shall wave the sheep before the Lord to be accepted for you. On the morrow after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. And ye shall offer that day when ye wave the sheep and he lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering unto the Lord. And the meat offering thereof should be two tenth deals of the flour mingled with oil, an offering made by fire unto the Lord for a sweet savor. And the drink offering thereof should be of wine, the fourth part of an hen. And ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears, until the self same day that he shall ye have ye have brought an offering unto your God. It shall be a statute for ever throughout your generations in all the dwellings, and ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering. Seven Sabbaths shall be complete. Even until the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall ye number fifty days, and ye shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord. Ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenths deals. They shall be of fine flour. They shall be bacon with leaven. They are the first fruits unto the Lord. And ye shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year, and one young bullock and two rams. They shall be for a burnt offering unto the Lord with their meat offering and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire of sweet savor unto the Lord. Then ye shall sacrifice one kid of the goats for a sin offering and two lambs of the first year for a sacrifice of peace offering. And the priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruit for a wave offering before the Lord with the two lambs when they shall be holy to the Lord for the priest. And ye shall proclaim on the self same day that it may be an holy congregation unto you. Ye shall do no servile work therein. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean riddance of the corners of thy field when you reapest. Neither shall you gather any gleaning of thy harvest. Thou shalt leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am the Lord your God. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets and holy congregation. Ye should do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of the seventh month, there should be a day of atonement. It should be an holy congregation unto you. And ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye should do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he should be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever soul it be that doth any work in the same day, the soul shall the soul will I destroy from among his people. 
ye should do no manner of work. It should be a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It should be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even. From even until even shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be in holy congregation. Ye should do no servile work therein. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be in holy congregation unto you, and ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye should do no servile work therein. These are the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy congregation, to offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering and a meat offering, a sacrifice and drink offerings, everything upon his day, beside the Sabbaths of the Lord, and beside your gifts, and beside all your vows, and beside all your free will offerings, which ye give unto the Lord. Also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. On the first day shall be a Sabbath, and on the eighth day shall be a Sabbath. And ye shall take you on the first day of the bowls of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and bowls of thick trees, and <clears throat> willows of the brook. And ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days. And ye shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days in the year. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. Ye shall celebrate it in the seventh month. Ye shall dwell in booths seven days. All that are Israelites born shall dwell in booths. That your generations may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booths. When I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God. And Moses declared unto the children of Israel the feast of the Lord. Chapter 24. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring unto thee pure oil, olive beaten for the light, to cause the lamps to burn continually. Without the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation, shall Aaron order it from the evening unto the morning before the Lord continue. It should be a statue forever in your generations. He shall order the lamps upon the pure candlestick before the Lord continually, and thou shalt take fine flour and bake twelve cakes thereof two tenth deals shall be in one cake and thou shalt set them in two rows six on a row upon the pure table before the lord and thou shalt put pure frankincense upon each row that it may be on the bread of a memorial even an offering made by fire unto the lord every sabbath he shall set it in order before the lord continually being taken from the children of israel by an everlasting covenant and it shall be Aaron's and his sons, and they shall eat it in the holy place, for it is most holy unto him of the offerings of the Lord made by fire by a perpetual statute. And the son of an Israelite woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel, and this son of the Israelish, Israelitish woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. And the Israelitish Israel Letish, woman's son, blasphemed the name of the Lord and cursed. And they brought him unto Moses. And his mother's name was Shelemith, the daughter of Debri, of the tribe of Dan. And they put him in a ward that the mind of the Lord might be showed them. And the Lord spake to Moses, saying, Bring forth him that had cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curses the God, his God shall bear his sin. And he that blasphemeth the name of the Lord, he shall surely be put to death. And all the congregation shall certainly stone him, as well the stranger, as he that is born in the land, when he blasphemeth the name of the Lord, shall be put to death. And he that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. And he that killeth the beast shall make it good, beast for beast. And if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he hath done, so shall it be done to him. Breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he hath caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. And he that killeth the beast, he shall restore it. And he that killeth the man, he shall be put to death. Ye shall have one manner of law, as well for the stranger, as one for your own country, 
for I am the Lord your God. And Moses spake to the children of Israel that they should bring forth him that had cursed out of the camp and stone him with stones. And the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. Mark chapter 1 verses 1 through 22. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John did baptize in the wilderness, and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of a skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and was baptized of John in Jordan, and straightway coming up out of the water. He saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the spirit driving him into the wilderness, and he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that, John was put in prison. Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of kingdom, of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand repent ye and believe the gospel now as he walked by the sea of Galilee he saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishers and Jesus came unto them come ye after me and I will make you to become fishers of men and straightway they forsook their nets and followed him and when he had gone a little farther Thence he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father, Zebedee, in the ship with the hired servants, and went after him. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes.